The holiday celebrations continue throughout Middle Georgia, and today we're talking about how the Old Governor's Mansion has become a holiday tradition in Milledgeville. Director of the Old Governor's Mansion, Matt Davis, is here this morning with all the details on the tours and the musical performances. Good morning and welcome to the show, Matt. Thank you for having me on. I really appreciate it. Not a problem. Tell us about this holiday tradition. This is something that's been going on for quite some time now. Absolutely. Uh, the tours of the, decor of the decorations of the Old Governor's Mansion go back to the 1990s. It's in a seasonal tradition in which we transform the mansion into authentic decor as it would appear at the time the governors were in the residence in the mid-19th century. Okay, and we actually have some pictures of, of some of the decor that you're talking about, but I want to talk about this year's theme. Mm -hmm. It's called Festive Holiday Traditions, and we are looking specifically at the year 1851 to 53, which was the administration of Governor Howell Cobb. Uh, visitors would expect to see a lot of fresh greenery, um, abundant poinsettia as a large Christmas tree, and also a festive cobweb party, which is something that you have to check out to see in person. Yeah, can you des describe that a little bit? Children, children in the 19th century before Christmas trees became the predominant tradition were all assigned a colored ribbon of the home, and okay. they would have to follow this elaborate maze to find their presents. And like today where you just run to the tree, it actually took a little work to get to your presents oh, at I this time period. Oh, I like that idea. So. <laughs> I kind of like that. Okay, now um, I want to talk about the um, the candlelight tours that are available. How do you guys do that during the day? Candlelight tours are actually offered in the evenings. And what we do is prepare the house uh, by placing candles throughout the building and appropriate uh, candelabras, uh, sticks, and things throughout the house that blend into the historic interpretation of the building. And in the evenings, we bathe the house in candlelight. So visitors will see authentic period lighting levels, what a house of the time period looked like by candlelight, and also get to enjoy some wonderful seasonal music as well. I was going to ask why you guys do that in the evenings, but that makes sense. And we have some special performances this year, right? Correct. Uh, the final candlelight tour is actually this Thursday, the 19th at 6 and 7 p.m. And the uh, First Baptist Church Handbell Choir in Milledgeville will be performing both hours. So it'd be something great. Uh, it, the music just echoes throughout the building and it's definitely a performance you want to check out in person. Now, do you guys have different performances each year or how does that work? Correct. Throughout the season, we offer the different candlelight tours. We have performing ensembles, the Milledgeville Singers Guild. Uh, we've had children's choirs, you name it. We have had it in years past. What's been your favorite so far? Uh, gosh, they're all great. So we <laughs> appreciate all the performers. So, All right. Well, we appreciate you being on the show this morning. Thank you for having me. Not a problem. And to recap, the Old Governor's Mansion is open from Tuesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and on Sundays from 2 to 4 p.m. For more information on the holiday celebration, you can call 445-4545 or visit gcsu.edu.